This video reinforces the important information about the layers of the Earth. Please write notes as you watch this video. There are four main layers of the Earth. The outermost layer is the crust, followed by the mantle, then the outer core, and the deepest layer is the inner core. The crust is the outermost layer. This is the layer that you live on. The crust is a layer of solid rock that includes both dry land and the ocean floor. The main elements on the crust are oxygen and silicon. The crust is the thinnest layer. It extends from 5 kilometers thick to 80 kilometers thick. The crust is the thickest at mountains and thinnest on the ocean floor. You can think about the crust like the skin of an apple. It is very thin and on the surface. In this diagram, the crust is represented by the dark green color. Do you see how thin it is compared to the other layers? The temperature of the crust varies from 0 degrees Celsius to 870 degrees Celsius. The deeper into the crust you go, the hotter it gets. To help you think about these temperatures, bread is baked at 176.67 degrees Celsius, and rocks begin to melt at 871.11 degrees Celsius. The crust has the least amount of pressure of all the layers. The deeper into the crust you go, the more pressure there is. There are two different types of crust. One type is called oceanic crust. Oceanic crust exists where the oceans are. It is composed of basaltic rock, which is fine-grained rock. In the diagram, the oceanic crust is represented by the blue color. The other type of crust is called continental crust. The continental crust exists where land is. It is composed of granitic rock, which is a light-colored, coarse-grained rock. In this diagram, the continental crust is represented by the green color. Did you write notes about the crust? Pause this video and review the quality of the notes you took. The second layer from the surface is called the mantle. The mantle is made of rock that is very hot but solid. The main elements in the mantle are magnesium and iron. The mantle is thickest of all the layers. It ranges from 2,811 kilometers thick to 2,886 kilometers thick. In this diagram, the mantle is represented by the red color. The mantle is hotter than the crust. It has a temperature that ranges between 870 degrees Celsius and 3,700 degrees Celsius. The deeper into the mantle you go, the hotter it gets. The mantle has more pressure than the crust, but it has less pressure than the outer core. The deeper into the mantle you go, the more pressure there is. The mantle contains three layers the lithosphere, the asthenosphere, and the mesosphere. The lithosphere is the uppermost part of the mantle. The tectonic plate plates rest on the lithosphere. The lithosphere is made of brittle rock and is about 100 kilometers thick. In the diagram, the lithosphere is represented by the dark brown color. The asthenosphere lies below the lithosphere. Its depths range from 100 to 200 kilometers below the surface, but may go as deep as 700 kilometers in certain regions. The asthenosphere is less rigid than the lithosphere. However, it is still solid. It is bendable like plastic. In the diagram, the lithosphere is represented by the tan light brown color. The mesosphere lies below the asthenosphere. The mesosphere is hotter and has more pressure than the asthenosphere. The greater pressure results in the mesosphere being more stiff. 
In the diagram, the mesosphere is represented by the green color. Convection currents occur in the mantle. A convection current is the flow that transfers heat within a fluid. Heat from the core and the mantle cause convection currents to occur in the mantle. These convection currents allow for tectonic plate movement. Did you write notes about the mantle? Pause the video and, re and review the quality of the notes you took. The core of the earth contains two layers, the liquid outer core and the solid inner core. In the diagram, the outer core is represented by the orange color and the inner core is represented by the red color. The main elements of both the outer core and inner core are iron and nickel. The outer core is 2,258 kilometers thick. The inner core is a solid ball that has a radius of 1,222 kilometers. If you put the outer core and inner core together and look at them as a whole, the total radius is 3,480 kilometers. In the diagram, the outer core is represented by the yellow-orange color. The inner core is represented by the yellow ball. The temperature of the outer core ranges from 3,700 degrees Celsius to 4,300 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the inner core ranges from 4,300 degrees Celsius to 7,000 degrees Celsius. The inner core has the highest temperature, and the crust has the lowest temperature. Based on the temperatures reported to you, you should be able to determine that the temperature increases the deeper into Earth you go. The outer core has more pressure than the mantle, but less pressure than the inner core. The inner core has the most pressure of all the layers. The crust has the least pressure. Based on the pressures reported to you, you should be able to determine that the pressure increases the deeper into earth you go. The outer core is molten metal that is in a liquid state of matter. However, the inner core is solid because the intense pressure squeezes the iron and nickel atoms so much that they cannot spread out to become liquid. In the diagram, the outer core is represented by yellow color and the inner core is represented by the, by the red ball. Scientists think that movements in the liquid outer core create Earth's magnetic field. The flow of liquid iron generates electric currents, which in turn produce magnetic fields. The diagram represents just the outer core and inner core. The blue arrows represent the flow of liquid iron creating electric currents that produce magnetic fields. Did you write notes about the outer core and inner core? Pause the video and review the quality of the notes you took. Now it's time to quiz yourself about the layers of the earth. Can you layer the labels of the earth from the outermost to the innermost? From the outermost to innermost, the order is the crust, followed by the mantle, then the outer core, and finally the deepest is the inner core. Which layer is the thickest? The mantle. Which layer is the thinnest? The crust. Which layer has the most pressure? The inner core. Which layer has the least pressure? The crust. Which layer has the coolest temperature? The crust. Which layer has the hottest temperatures? The inner core. Which layer helps to create Earth's magnetic field? 
the outer core. Which layer has convection currents? The mantle. What are two types of crust? Continental crust and oceanic crust. What are the layers of the mantle from outermost to innermost? The outermost layer of the mantle is the lithosphere, followed by the asthenosphere. Finally, the deepest is the mesosphere. Now that you completed watching the video, you may restart to watch again or continue to the Google Form link that was provided to you.